So the target market that was identified for me in my design brief was teenagers, so roughly between 12 and 18 years old. After questioning several members um, within this target market, I realised the importance of my design to be innovative, fresh, unique, versatile, but most importantly, current, and to keep up with trends that are always changing with the teenage market. I've got several unique selling points with my design, um, because it's made in two parts, I've got the logo and the window display. Um, the logo is bold and striking, um, the black and white colour scheme, you can see in the top corner there, really helps it stand out. Um, um, so this will help increase the visual impact and stand out to passers-by, which helps um, help promote the imprint identity and the brand. Um, the simplicity of the logo also means that it's easily recognisable, um, so that that also helps um, the target market engage and appreciate the design rather than being overwhelmed by it. Um, being simple and a writing means that it can be used together or separately, which was a specification point that I had to meet. Um, the simple part of the logo is also quite special because it represents kind of a stylized footprint, which obviously helps um, promote the idea that it's selling shoes to the company. It also can be viewed as like an eye, which is eye for imprint. Um, window display with unique selling points is innovative, quirky. Um, it uses graphics and 3D modelling, so I've got the suspension in it. Um, it's also black and white, so it helps kind of strengthen the brand identity with the colour scheme with my logo. Um, and it also helps to stand out along the high street, which also attracts attention and passes by helping to fulfil its purpose. Um, the typeface I chose is called Blair MDC TT. Um, it's quite modern, um, unique and edgy font, which I think really helps appeal to my target market. Um, so that will help me with the promotion. Costing wise, um, it took me approximately about 10 hours to make my scale down model of the window display, which is about a fifth of the size. Um, so this will probably be about the same, or maybe even less, because I say I encountered problems along the modelling. Um, so obviously I had to identify mistakes and find solutions. Um, it is a one cost job because it is literally just the one off production of the display. Being one-off um, production means that it will be more expensive to produce um, because it's not being mass-produced or anything like that, so materials will be more expensive. Um, processes such as laser cutting, vinyl cutting and vacuum forming will be done externally because that will lower the cost, obviously, um, for the company. However, if the window display fulfills its purpose, which is obviously to promote um, the launch of the new imprint store, the cost to make it should be made up with the profits gained by imprint once it's opened. Um, so it should hopefully even itself out if the window display works. Um, Brand-wise, most of this has actually been established whilst I was creating the logo. Um, so obviously I've got my brand font, I've got the black and white colour scheme and I've got my logo. This will just kind of be followed, continued and developed. And obviously as the company grows and gets more um, experience and more customers and more loyalty, so it's brand and identity. Um, promotion wise, there are several ways. My client, LTD, LTD, um, has their own project page, which obviously their clients look at to see what projects they've done to start. So um, a page could be included, you can see there, um, for my own project, Imprint. Um, so this could advertise it to any of their existing clients or maybe potential clients. They can see the design, they can see the shop. Um, Imprint will also have a website. Um, before the shop has actually been launched, it will probably just be a countdown towards the launch of it. Um, and there will also be a mobile app to go with this, which will just be a scaled down version. Um, the mobile app in particular could have the QR scanning code so that um, users could interact with, like, say, billboards or advertisements in magazines or in print. So it all kind of helps. And obviously, loads of people have smartphones nowadays. So it's a really good method of helping to promote the brand um, just to ensure that it keeps its customers. Um, after the launch, the website will obviously be changed, so you'll be able to browse products, um, see special offers, any discounts, maybe any events that are being held. Um, whilst the display is up, um, people will obviously be walking by the window display, so the best method to get the message out would be to hand out flyers, um, which will obviously include the logo that something you can open out here. We've got a few, like, just a few things saying like who the company is, um, what their promise is and what they can do, so that's just obviously advertising it. And to make sure that people keep the flyer rather than just throw it away, a 25% discount coupon could be included that could be torn off. Um, obviously, this can only be used on the actual launch day, so that will encourage people to come to the stop on the launch day and try and use their coupon, obviously take it to the till. Um, 
And the final thing that can be done before the actual launch of the store is to hold kind of like a launch party for Imprint. So this could be to invite other retailers to like build relationships and networks. Maybe they can like cross promotion and stuff like that. Um, possibly people from like big corporate companies who might future invest in the company, which could then help it develop. Maybe open like different stores around England or maybe go national. Um, also, if possible, you could try and invite like a local celebrity or something to just kind of raise the awareness and the appeal to like the young people um, of the store.